way you get the new stucco to stick to the crumbling stuff? Okay, that's a great question. So Lynn wants to know how we're going to get the new stucco to stick to the old so that it doesn't fall off in a month or a day or a year. And here's an old trick that was taught to me many, 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 many years ago by some really old masons. This is truly a secret trick. I've written about it a lot, but you, it's one of those pieces of information that goes from history um, to legend and legend to myth in the construction field. That, that happens all too often. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't happen here. So this is a uh, little bucket of it says quick setting cement that I got at the hardware store. I would have preferred to just get regular old Portland cement because Portland cement uh, is not quick setting and um, it just gives you a little bit more work time. But all this is is just powdered you can see it here it's just regular powdered cement and um, you know they've added some other ingredients to it so that it sets up and gets hard real fast. But all you would do is I would just take regular cement powder like that. I've got some water here and I probably put in a little too much. But the whole point is, is you just make up. Imagine having some latex paint. Well, what if I told you you could make cement paint? In other words, it just paint blend that you. Um, so now it's starting to get thicker. You can see that. What consistency? So just like latex paint. Okay. So what I'm doing right here is I'm mixing this up. You can see that's getting thicker and thicker. And that's pretty That's pretty good. That's about the consistency of paint right there. Okay. And I'll show you. So what happens is once the concrete block is clean, you've got all the loose stuff off, I would take a little spray bottle, like if you're working on a nice warm day, take a little old Windex bottle, or it could just be a sponge like this, get it wet, and just dab the concrete block a little bit. Just get it slightly damp. And then all you do is take your paintbrush like this, and you can see that's at the consistency of paint, and you're just going to paint this mixture right on the place you're going to patch. It's that simple? Okay, yeah. So this is like the glue. This is the glue oh. that's going to hold it on. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about the cement paint because I really don't feel that I uh, covered it clearly. So what ha what I like to do is I like to mix up the stucco first, you know, get it ready because the stucco is going to last for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, you know, it'll still stay, you know, plastic like that as long as you're using regular Portland cement. That's key. Don't use the fast setting stuff. Once I have the stucco mixed up, then it only takes a few minutes to mix up the cement paint. All right. What you do with the cement paint is you only you paint this on. In other words, the area that's going to rep be repaired, you paint this on just like you would paint regular paint. You just put it on just like that. You don't want to have it on too thick. You know, you don't want to have it on super thick like that. That's bad. You want to just brush it on like paint. There doesn't have to be a lot of it there. What it does, it does two things. Number one, the moisture and the water that's in the cement paint soaks into the concrete block so that the water that's in the stucco mix does not get pulled into the block too quickly. That's really important because that it just causes it to be weaker and it causes it to be harder to work with, the stucco mixture. The most important thing is you want to only paint on as much of the cement paint onto the block as you can cover right away with the stucco mix. In other words, don't paint the cement paint on, you know, 10 or 20 feet of block, where because it'll dry out quickly. This will dry out in just regular breezy weather in a couple of minutes, and you don't want it to dry before you have a chance to cover it with the cement stucco. So keep that in mind. That's the another reason why you don't want to use, you do not want to use this fast setting cement because it will just get hard too quick. You just want regular Portland cement. They sell it in big bags, 94 pounds. If you can buy it in smaller bags, that's fantastic. It's that simple. So if you've got any more questions about cement paint, just go to askthebuilder.com. I've got column after column after column written about cement paint. Simple as that. Now what happens is, prior to you mixing that cement paint up, you'll already have mixed up the stucco. And all that the stucco is, I brought some of this from home. This is just sand of my own. And um, it's just regular old sand. And you can see it's got different size particles in it. Okay. 
in your situation over there, I would use something like this. It's got a blend, a mixture of these, you know, these is different sizes. Is sand called something specific? No, I just, like just playground me sand. And just, just like medium, medium sand, medium, medium defined sand. sand. Okay. All right. And so you would just take some of that in a bucket, and you know, you would just mix. What I would do to make sure it's nice and strong is I would mix two parts sand to one part of the cement, curtain cement. Okay. You blend that together, you know, just take it. I just know by feel about how much it's going to be. And you notice that the sand was dry, all right? And I just blend it together dry first. Okay. You know, trying to get the ingredients all blended together. You know, and then we're going to add some water to it. You don't want to add too much, you know. And right. that's so now, and that, now that, see that's yeah, that's too thin. See, it's, okay. it's really easy to add too much. See how that's almost pourable? Oh, okay. That's way too thin. So you want it like peanut butter, or uh, you'll see. Uh, we'll just get it there. So I'm just putting in some more of the cement. So now it's getting thicker. This is this is a pretty nice consistency right here. I'm going to put some on the cardboard so you can see it. So look at that. See how? See when I pulled out on the trowel. It's not drooping down. See yeah. that? You know, and I can move it with my fingers. So you can see that's the consistency. That's a nice consistency, and it looks it looks very cementy. You know, in other words, when I touch it like that, see how it, it's just all gray colored, and you yes. don't see much sand. That means you've got a lot of the cement paste in there. That's a good thing. Okay. So all that happens is you'll just take this in the trowel like this, and you'll just start to apply it to the concrete block, and. Um, Building it it's, up and, and up. it's it's going to stick. Believe it. I mean, if you're trying to do a big spot, it's going to droop. You'd have to do it later. But nothing down there is that thick. It's going to just take one layer. And believe me, the more of the cement that you add to it, you know, the stickier it'll be. Yeah, it'll be it'll be stickier. So, I mean, you can see right here. If I add more to it, watch. You'll be able to see how it's... I mean, it'll... St I mean, look at this. It'll stick on... The okay. It sticks on the side of the trowel. It's not even coming off the trowel. So you know it's going to stick... Stick to the wall. To the, to, the side of your, uh, to the side of your cement foundation. So here it is. I've got it vertical, and it's not drooping at all. And look how thick that is. Yeah. Okay, so that's almost three quarters, almost an inch thick. And then what you'd be able to do is use this tool, remember... To like, you know, like shape it. See that? See how I'm getting that bevel on it? Like a, uh, remember how like it had that chamfer on it? Yes. You know, and then there's that, that vertical face. So see how that looks? That that looks almost like the top of that block did. Exactly. You know, and you could shape it. So you can see how, you know, you can use a tool like this to shape it. And what will happen is, as it gets harder, you know, you'll then be able to take the sponge. You know, we can't do it right now, but once it gets harder, you can take the sponge and lightly, you know, rub it, and it'll give it either a sandy texture, or you can use this tool here, and if you just rub it like that, you'll notice how it gets smoother, you know. And it's really, okay. it's really that simple. It doesn't look hard at all. It does. It's really simple to fix that. It's not hard. I'd recommend that you do it on an overcast day. Everybody thinks that sunny weather and breezy weather is the best to work in. It's the worst. You actually would like a day with no rain, but overcast, you know, and maybe 60 degrees. Because the slower that the stucco dries, the stronger it's going to be. Okay. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. Looks easy. <laughs> all right, great. Thank you, Tim. See? Really simple. You can do the same thing at your home, too. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.